Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving to something that's at the heart of every modern vehicle, the engine control unit or ECU. It might sound technical but I promise it's fascinating. Let's break down what an ECU is, how it works and why it's so crucial for your car. First, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The journey of the ECU began in the 1970s. Back then, cars relied on basic systems for fuel injection. Fast forward a few decades. And we now have sophisticated digital ECRs that not only manage fuel but also enhance performance and efficiency. This evolution has transformed how cars operate. Alright, so how does the ECU actually work? Think of it as the brain of your car. It communicates with various sensors throughout the engine. These sensors monitor things like temperature, air pressure and even the position of the throttle. When the sensors send data to the ECU, it processes this information in real time. For example, if the engine is running too hot, the ECU can adjust the fuel mixture or ignition timing to cool things down. This feedback loop happens incredibly fast, ensuring optimal performance at all times. Fuel injection control it decides how much fuel to inject based on engine needs, helping to maximize efficiency. Ignition timing the ECU controls when to ignite the fuel air mixture. Get this right and you get more power and better fuel economy. Emission control. It helps your vehicle meet environmental standards by optimizing combustion, reducing harmful emissions. Diagnostic functions if something goes wrong, the ECU keeps track of error codes, making it easier for mechanics to diagnose issues. Now not all ECUs are the same, there are several types, each with specific roles. Engine control module ECM, this is the main ECU focusing on engine performance. Transmission control unit ECU. This one manages gear shifting for automatic transmissions. Body control module BCM, it controls lights, windows and other non-engine functions. Powertrain control module PCMA, combination of the ECM and TCM and TCU, overseeing both engine and transmission functions. Like any technology, ECS can encounter problems. Common signs of ECU issues include a check engine light, poor acceleration or decreased fuel efficiency. If you suspect an ECU problem, here's what to do grab an OBDII scanner. This handy tool reads the error code stored in the ECU, giving you a clue about what's wrong. Always start with visual inspections to check for damaged wires or loose connections. Looking ahead, the role of ECUs is only going to grow. With advancements like autonomous driving, we'll see more integration of ECS with systems that support safety and efficiency. Plus with the rise of electric vehicles. The ECU will play a critical role in managing battery performance and energy consumption. To wrap up, the ECU is a small but mighty component that ensures your vehicle runs smoothly and efficiently. It's incredible how far technology has come and how it continues to evolve. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more insights. I'd love to hear your experiences with ECU issues, so drop a comment below. What topics do you want us to cover next? Thanks for watching and see you next time.